for, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. That's right. That's right. All right? And what did the scripture just say before, back in Luke 12 and 46? And it says, and will cut him asunder and will appoint him his portion with the unbelievers. All right? And that's what the word incredulity means, the unbelievers. unbelievers all right? It means unbelief. So the Lord said all the unfaithful were going to die in their unfaithfulness, man. All right? There's a lot of you infidels out there, man. All right? You ain't got no faith. So the Lord is going to take you out. And your portion of an unbeliever is what, man? Destruction. Mm. You're going to catch a missile. You're going to get eaten by a, a ravenous wolf or a dog or a pit bull or whatever Disease, it is, diseases. man. Diseases, mm. plagues, famine. Oh, man, you don't want to go out by way of famine. Ooh. The scripture says it's better for a man to die by way of sword than famine. People can mm. eat their children. Cannibalism. That's, in the scriptures. That's it, man. Well, that's coming back, man. That's right, man. Hey, the scriptures say what? Well, woe unto them, woe well, well unto the women that be with child in those days. Mm. All right? Because it's going to be heavy out here, man. You know, it's going to be a heavy time. You're going to see women eating their own children, man. Mm, mm. That's what's going to happen. What, what, in the time of Kings, what, in Second Kings, the sixth chapter, I believe, where, they, where the, uh, the woman said to the king, we'll eat your son today, we'll eat my son tomorrow. Yeah. That, hey, that happened there. And the scripture says what? The things that are written before time, brothers, mm, were written for our learning. That's right. There ain't nothing new under the sun. So this is coming back, man. Okay. You had certain Israelites that were starving out in Masada. Mm. You know, the, the uh, siege warfare yep. by the Romans. All of this stuff is coming back, man. you got to understand, guys were eating them belts, eating the leaves of the trees. Yep. All of that, man. Nothing new under the sun, man. Nothing new under the sun, man. Go on, bro. It's Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 55. So that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children, whom he sure. shall eat, because he have nothing left him in the siege, mm. and in the straightness, wherewith thine enemy shall distress thee in all thy gates. So when Esau cuts off the food, <laughs> the food supply, okay, while he's sitting in these bunkers eating the most delicacies, yeah, abomination, abominable delicacies, mm. right? While he's eating all that, man, people out there are going to be fighting for bags of rice, man, yeah. shanking each other up, flaying each other, man. Oh, yeah. You know? For real. <laughs> fighting for bags of rice, you're going to be fighting for uh, dust, man. Yeah? Just to lick dust or, or to drink dirty water. For real. Yeah, like, yeah. like those um, um, Canaanites and Kushites. In, in the land of Africa, look at them, man. They got f um, flies running around, all, all, run, running around their head and their eyeballs and that. Damn. Can't even blink. They don't even sweat. They're it? just used to it, man. Rib cage all showing. That's how it's gonna be out here, man. You're gonna go, go about, without food for a week. You know, three days, four days, you just stranded, man. And you're gonna see dead bodies, heads rolling around the floor, man. God. It's gonna be crazy out here. God. Mm. I got that. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. It's Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 6. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness? Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but mm. he shall be saved out of it. And who's going to be saved out of it, man? The elect. The elect out of the nation of Israel. All the rest of you guys here that are, are putting, off the, the, uh, putting off the Lord, all you guys that are taking this for a joke, man, you guys are going to get fucked up, man. Yeah. You guys are going to get f thoroughly fucked the, the mm. fuck up, man. Okay? I'm, I'm, I'm using cursed words, man. <laughs> yeah, bro, could you go to verse 10 in that same chapter, Baba Kasha? Oh, can't, can't. Because um, you made a point of who's... The scripture says he shall be saved out of it. It's going to tell you. Uh, Satan, man. Bro, where was that? Uh, Jeremiah 30. To Jeremiah 30, that's right. Jeremiah 30, yeah. It says, uh, Jeremiah 30 and 10. It says, therefore, fear, fear, fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, mm -hmm. saith the Lord, neither be dismayed o, dismayed, o Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of their captivity, mm -hmm. and Jacob shall return, mm -hmm. and shall be in rest, and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. Mm -hmm. So the scriptures break themselves down. That's too, hey, man, we go, hey, the elect of Israel going to be saved, man. Mm -hmm. All right, we just got to have faith. In them times, because, hey, the scripture says the time of Jacob's trouble is coming, man. That's right. Jacob's trouble is Jacob's trouble. It don't matter if you're uh, of the hopeful elect or, or not, man. Yep. It doesn't It doesn't matter. We're all going to be tried and tested. Mm. We're all going to have to go through the hour of temptation. Mm. Satan's going, hey, he's going to come all different kinds of ways, man. Just like he came and tempted Yahweh Shai. That's right. When he was fasted, all right? When he, hey, man, he, he tempted him with all, all manners of things. And Satan's going to come and tempt you with your weaknesses, man. Because mm. the scriptures spe specifically say... 
in the book, book of Matthews, it says that uh, Yahweh Shai, after he had fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, he was unhungered. Mm. That means that, hey, in a state of hunger, you know what it's like. When, when hey, brothers will fast for one day, and it's like, oh, 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 like, yeah. oh. oh. you know, for one day. Imagine mm. 40 days and 40 nights. So Satan was like, the first thing he came to the Lord with, he said, look, look, um, cut and turn, make these stones be turned into bread. bread. Yeah. He hit him where, you know, let me let me quench your that needs. hunger. Your, your, your needs, your desires, your desires yeah. you know? Mm. That's what's, yeah, come on, 